How's it going out there? James here. Um, I just wanted to, I just wanted to make a video about um, a topic, a subject. Of, I'm gonna title this "The Women of 2020." And let me see. I don't know if you guys can hear me or not, but I want to make this perfectly clear. What's going on in 2020? Why are people breaking up? Why there's relationships and not doing so hot and so well? And uh, hopefully my mic get on here. I'm going to show, in, in this video, I'm going to show you a picture of a young lady that contacted me. And it was through Facebook. And you always got to be careful with, with Facebook because, you know, some people come to to saying that they want to, someone, some women come to the, come to Facebook saying, you know, trying to, to seek single men out, right? And they, they want a relationship. They say they want a relationship, but they, but they put you through a quiz that is crazy. And what I mean by a quiz is just that I understand that when you get to know a person, you know, you should be more about, okay, the, I can understand you the person, you have to the person if they're working or they're going to school. That's understandable. You know, that they, you, 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 you're trying to get a good feel for them out, especially you, you transmit parent online with somebody. And one of these things that some women don't realize in 2020 is that when you start questioning a man's income that could be kind of insulting let me explain to you why because it gives the man the impression like it would probably give a woman impression if you if I you know was trying to get to know a woman I mean just enough that she got a job alone Especially when you start talking with somebody over the, the line, and if they if they choose let them choose to indulge, if, if they feel like they want to let that information out, otherwise how much they make in their on the job is no, nobody's business. And it, so this is what recently I you know mentioned to this woman that that I do some side delivery on the side. She started going through my. Uh, such questioning me how much I make a month, then how much I would make a year, and then what kind of jobs you had previously. And so I was like, uh, well, well, I told her I did. Did occur in, in within a, I say within a, not even a twenty minute, get to know each other. Trying to get to feel each other out, you know, because first they come, you know, are you married? Are you single? You have children. I'm used to saying that, but I'm, I'm trying to get more know of the person. Then if that person choose to later on, the, if and if I was getting to know a woman, I want to more more about her than what her income is. And I think it should be vice versa with the man. You should know what kind of man you're getting if you're a woman looking for a man, because the character is going to make up the help happy home. That, that bring in higher finances. And even if the finances is not where it's at, but it's the motivation. Because I think with the, whether you're a man or a woman, if you if you was making a sustain sustainable out of income, you have to you know, you have to be careful because if is is this person with me for me or are they with me because what I can do for them. And this is what some women you know, in 2020, don't understand this, and that's why they can't keep a relationship. And you, th and and I think a lot of there's a lot of there's a certain type of women in this today's world that live in this fantasy land, that they're gonna find some multi-millionaire guy that's gonna take care of them and probably treat them like a princess, and they probably ain't gonna con contribute nothing. And some of the women that probably is kind of Fact, you know, old-fashioned, 
you know, I mean, it's one thing, the guy would automatically in his nature going to take care of his woman, no matter what his income, what, regardless of how much he make in his bank account, if he had to work one or two jobs, whatever. But if you base your relationship on that, it's not going to work. Because I tell you what, look at all those celebrities out there in Hollywood. You ever ask yourself, how many celebrities' marriages and relationships ever lasted a year or two? And they make, um, some of the movie stars make four or five, six fi figures a picture. I mean, look at some of your multi-millionaires, billionaires. You ever, see, you ever get the article and you see well, how many celebrity divorces and this, this celebrity's thrown had it divorce his wife and shove out twenty million, twenty million dollars, ten million dollars, fifteen million dollars, and even though they still earn a substantial amount of income, it's based on income. It's not based on a proper relationship. I rather have a woman based on a proper relationship, even if my income was higher and our income was high, because the relationship is more valuable than than, than, the, than the lifestyle. I mean, it's nothing wrong with nothing, but when you base it on your relationship based on lifestyle, that's why you always see those people always breaking up and they never, they never can stay together. And you're like, man, they like they were a perfect couple. Because deep down, I don't know what, what is a, what is a woman celebrity, a man celebrity, they haven't come to the conclusion what a true relationship is. A true relationship is almost like a true start out. It's kind of like a friendship. You know, it, it, it's built on trust and love and get to know each other. And once you get to the point uh, that that happens, uh, it, it goes on from there. But I just wanted to make a video make a video about that but I just want to show you show you the text that here here's the woman she's a nice looking woman but okay you know I'm just you know getting to know her and getting to see who she is and you know not tell her you know, she had to go have a car. Those small conversation like that. And, you know, of course, she t I told her I have an older car. She told me she has a, a Mercedes. So that's already telling me. Then, she then not even within 20 minutes of the conversation, she asked me, if you don't mind, ask me, how much do you earn monthly? Why, you, you know, what is the point of that? And so I said, well, I say about 1100 you know, 11, just this, this blase. And she said, you don't mind asking me how much do you earn? Again, she asked me how much you earn monthly. It's okay. And then she goes and asks me if we would decide to be together, could, could you take care of us? I guess her, she talking about her and her mother. And I mean, I'm just getting, get a chance to know this woman. And, and I mean, you can see it right here. You know, I just want to show you this conversation. And it's just, it's crazy. And it's just, it's not to really get a, get a chance to know me as an individual. And let's talk, I mean, it, it should be long enough. If, if, a, if I ask the woman, you're working, that should be enough for me. Whatever she chooses me, if she says she's a, janitor to a teacher. That should be enough. I don't need to know well, how much you make as a janitor, how much you earn as the money. And, and I'm trying to get to know you for the very first time. I mean, it's like, what, what you be like, what the, what the hell? That, that's, that's how I, I don't know, maybe it's me, that's what, how I'm look. maybe I'm wrong. But I think you should get the, when you get well into a relationship with somebody, Maybe at the maybe at the second or third time they want to divulge that information, but you're trying to get them to know them um, for the for the person, and you know you know things they like to do, things they want to do. I mean, I mean, I mean, I can understand you know what what did what what are their plans in the future. I understand 
saying something like that, and what are your goals? And I can, I can, I, I don't mind that kind of question. But why is that a person got a question? Okay, you tell them that you got a job, you make a certain amount of income, and then the question goes. Uh, then the question goes. Uh, at, at, and so she said, "How much? Do, how much do you are you worth?" I mean, that's a red flag right there. And I said, "Well, at the time when I was working, I said probably I was worth worth about you know altogether my income at for the year was probably thirty thousand." I mean, I so, saw, you know, and she, and some women wondering why they're single. They wonder, they asking too many personal questions. And when you, you know, you barely getting to trying to work on trying to have a relationship with somebody. And I would be more like, you know, how's your family? You know, I. I don't know, to me, you know, your mom, your dad, you know, I mean, I'd be more, you know, you have kids, you know, tell me more if you're a single mother or if you're not, if you're a single woman with no kids, how's your family life? I'm trying to get to know you, not your, not your income, you know, how you feel the basics and just go on from there. And then let, let, as time transpired, then you get the then you get to know the person. See, a lot of people don't get time to take that special time out to, to know the individual. But if you come in, and if, if if a woman is listening to, and you you know a woman that's doing something like that, that's why she can't keep a man. And, and let me let me tell you something. Some men don't like like women don't like to get burnt. And and it's. Even though the man is the provider, it's true enough. A man would give, but he don't don't put him in that position. That you know, well, your income don't qualify to my certain standard. Well, I say, and I told her, and and as well, if, I'm, if my income don't acquire, then good luck and find you a man that who, who must have make a much, much higher income than me. Because, I mean, and there are men out there that would make a much higher, and I'm not hating or jealous or anything like that. But one thing that I would have in common with them, probably would have in common with the man who makes a higher income to me, and a man who make a, who, who is, at the, is a homeless man, do you love me as an individual? Do you love me as, can you stand with me in the storm? Can, if, if things go wrong, and things go south, and things go back up. How many people that you, how many men that probably started out and something happened and they lost hundreds and thousands and millions of dollars and they almost damn near were broke and something come up to a point and they was able to gravitate to something to bring them right back up to the top. Now you, and the, and the pressure gets so hard, like a, I call it in the Bible, like a Job situation, how, how are you going to handle it? handle my because see, see that's what kind of man I am you know what it's not you know after the beauty the, the, the perfect body and the looks and everything what is your character going to be what are you going to stand by me even if I if, if I was a multi-billionaire a, a damn near trillionaire and I, I you know and I was educated like I don't know what is it about what is it about the fit, fit in the class or is it about fitting the, the character? Because the character outweighs the class. And so I just want to chime on this video. The reason why some you see some very beautiful women are single is because of that. Because they feel entitled. And that's why you, they say, well, how is it that a, a woman is unattractive? Can can get a man faster than a woman that's attractive. It's because they're not stuck on themselves as much. And maybe the character, the, the woman who's average to unattractive have something more than a woman who is barely attractive and can and, and probably and can't even cook or can't even do simple things like boil a, a boil egg in water. But the average woman know how to do something like that. The average looking woman. 
And personally, I would really deal with that type of woman, with an average looking woman. I mean, may not not be the prettiest of nice looking thing in the face, but hey, she can probably freaking cook. And what's in the heart? Sometimes you can look past certain things. When you get to a certain level in life, you can you you see what it's really about. Because a lot of this so called beautiful people out there and they in good shape, but they just they self centered, they cold hearted. Where is their heart at? I don't care how attractive that they are. Where is it hard at? And some people been you know, they didn't boost the ego up and like wow they get they might get millions of views. But what does a personality tell you if you would meet them in person? And there's some people but it, but there also are some people that it, it they it, they humble whatever if they humble with with good looks and they humble with uh they're humble with what they have. You know, I could deal with a person like that. You know, a, a good-looking woman, and she's humble with. I rather have a humble, good-looking woman than a hum than, than a good-looking woman with no humility, no humbleness, and she's self-centered. It's nothing wrong with being confident, but she's so. I mean, have you ever come? If you a man, have you ever come across a self-centered woman? You know, it's like wow. And, and them the some type of woman. Well, I, that, I can't. That's why I don't know why I can't find no man. That's the reason why. There are some women that you see on on social media to celebrities. And you ever wonder why? Like, man, she's a very attractive woman. She's self centered. That's why she's been in two or three, four relationships that she can't hold hold down a relationship. And that's why, bro. That's why she can't. She's attractive, but she can't keep no man. And then when the man get with her. From any walks of life, that's the reason why. Cause she she become her own so-called goddess complex to the point that she's way she she she's you beneath her because you know she got she's she's photogenically beautiful. Yeah, she may be photogenically beautiful, but what about a, her her personality? See, a personality is what I, what attracts me more than anything. You could be average, but have the most attractive personality in in the world. And said so I can I can look back, but God can show me something more than past your looks. That's the truth, because character in these last days means a lot. A character, and if, if you especially you you're trying to be involved in a relationship with somebody, character means a lot. Because you can. Like I said, you have the most richest people in the world. That they got the most beautiful wom woman. If it's a woman, it's the most handsomest man, or whatever. But it's like, what is what is that person's character trait? You know, as far as a man, one woman like myself. What? I say, I don't, I don't mind having someone attractive, but what? But it's like I'm waiting for what is that character trait? That's what I want. Because even if she, even if she, you can have, even if you meet somebody with a good paying job, it was a woman. She can have a bad character trait. I have met women with bad character, character trait because of that. I have met women that were educated that have bad character trait. It's all about them. And you got the. It's not, I mean, I understand there's a certain standard. You you know you won't tolerate. I mean, I'm not saying you got to take some low to low. But what you want somebody is faithful? What you want somebody with good character? What you want somebody at least you can somewhat trust? And if you make their life a little little bit better, someone make you happier. I mean that's what I would, would figure whether you're a man or woman looking for somebody. That's what should be what it was really all about. Because how many people you know out there that make good money and they with somebody but they, they're miserable as I don't know what. That person that could be controlling, they could be manipulating, they could be a nag, they could be just, they could be abusive. Um, they, they, they don't have no, 
they, they, sh they have no character. They have no concern. They have no path. Would you want to be with someone if, God forbid, you get sick and they don't give a shit about you? They don't know you. They can, they, they just, just throw you out to the woods and, and you lose your income as a, as a man if, you, if you're looking for a woman. Would you want a woman that's just going to pick up and dip because she can't handle a, a little crisis? If, you, if it was a woman, who would you want, oh, I can't handle this, you know, you get too fat, blah, blah, blah. And knowing that's just, the, especially having a few kids, it's not your help, help, help that your situation happens. And things happen in life. So I'm at the point in life, things happen. I don't have to have the best of the best. I'm not spoiled with the best of the best. Because God would test my character. That's what's about character. I always say that it's about character. What person's character you gotta live with? The most that you wanna stay in a relationship with. And I'd rather be with one person with, with one good character, if it's gonna be my girlfriend to fiance to wife, than be with a hundred different women with, with with different personalities and characters and issues and when you especially when you decide you wanna take a that relationship to lead to marriage. You really got to sit down and say, is this person worthy of me? And, I, and, and if, if I'm worthy, and maybe is it, is it possible that they think I'm worthy of them? That's what it's all about. It's about maturity. And, you know, I'm, this was the time in my life I've been in, I've been immature, but I'm at the point in my life I'm, I'm mature. I've done it, the things. I that was, And I can man up and say that, true that. There were times I wasn't, I wasn't ready, but, but I, I was, you know. But realistically, you know, it took over a decade to really be alone, not having in a relationship to kind of really take all out, to take away something that you have, something that it can possibly distract you or drain you. To and that's why, and so, and really. Some people, whether it be men or women, need to understand that um, they need to understand what true relationship really is before they go into the next relationship. And no matter, and, and it's sad because with the COVID-19, this was the ultimate test. COVID-19 was the ultimate test. How are you going to endure? Because Things are happening right now. People, you know, your husband, your wife, or girlfriend, boyfriend can lose their job. Are you just gonna just go and just dip up and dip? Because they just and, and that's that's a that's a test right there. One your significant other could be sick. Are you just gonna get up and dip? I mean stuff happens to the human body. Are you gonna get up and dip? So so as a as a person, and I'm as a man looking for a woman, I'm looking for some with good character. And if she ain't got good character, I don't care how good looking she is. God can duplicate a woman with, with good look, good looks, and have good character. God, I said, God can give. If He want to present me a woman, she go, is going to be out of it. That's what I mean, kingdom. Because ain't too many women are kingdom. Just like to some women, some men ain't kingdom. They're not kingdom getting getting kingdom set. They're not getting their mind set. They're getting more. They don't know how to give. They're not givers. They're takers. They're they're draining. It's all about them. It's all about what other think people think of them. Me 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 me. And that's why, it's, and if you with somebody's a me 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 kind of person, then that that relationship. Ain't, I don't care how beautiful, how exciting. What they what they do in the bedroom or whatever, it ain't gonna last. Reality, overall, ain't gonna last. And in these days, I I I'll be hesitant by dating a lot of women because now remember before, before where it was diseases like AIDS, HIV, crabs, <laughs> um, um, herpes, and you know things like that. Now you got if you meet a meet a woman if you're a man you got to be sure she ain't got COVID nineteen so that's another 
or some other venereal, some other airborne disease that you meet somebody and you get in face to face contact with them and, and that you don't end up so now being single is rougher now now than what it ever is so you meet somebody you got to make sure not only that they ain't got no sexual contaminants disease they ain't got no airborne disease <coughs> like like coronavirus so now for us single people it's really doggone rough and so that's what that's what I'm, I'm that's what I'm talking you know that's what I'm saying so you know you meet somebody is now you gotta make sure that if you meet a, a girlfriend a boy you know if, you know you're a guy meet a woman make sure she's corona free you know of course you gotta be corona free yourself but if it's, a, if it's a woman she gotta make sure that her guy is corona free because you know you ain't trying to be checked up out of here over someone's looks or what, what it appears to be and then later on and number and number three thing you gotta see how can this per person handle certain pressures in life, uh, crises that come along in your your family. How is, will they support you? Will you support you? You be, you might be a person that can support somebody hanging in there with the thick and thin. If their mama gets sick, the kids act up, or whatever, or something going on with somebody in their money, friend, their family. How they and, and you know what? That's in, and but you can stand in that boat until the storm settles. So, to me, as a man, I want a woman that can stand in the boat when the warm, when the storm can settle. That's good character. I mean, any crisis has come up in in life. That's what I, I would want. And I, I mean, you can put put, put a hundred women in front of me. But I just want that one woman with the, with that character trait, because a lot of women don't have that character trait. Guys, trust me, they sound good, they mean good, but once you get in a relationship with them, some of these women will show their true colors. They will show their true colors, and that, that they can handle certain things when, when if a crisis comes. You're like, damn, here you done invested your your money, your time, your energy, your love with somebody. And your faithfulness to this person, just like the, it would be opposite with the woman, only to come to find out they ain't worth the crap. And so, so as a, as men, you know, and maybe it's a good thing that I waited so long because it says that some women are just they they mess out here, and they just feel so and, and, and bold and entitled. It's like okay, but you do know that there's other components to the relationship, and, and I mean finances. True, is is a major part, but just getting along with somebody mostly when 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 the finances ain't coming every month. What you gonna do is, is something when someone gets sick. How you gonna be there? It's some because there's trials are coming up. Everybody has to co come to a trial. Every man and woman on this planet got to come through some type of trial. And can they handle the trial? And can they be faithful? Did someone come along and, you know, as a man, I shouldn't have to think about another man coming along and sweet, sweet, sweet nothings in their ears. And if, if she going out and cheat, then that's what that was in her heart to do anyway. And she said, "Well, this man provides something better." That's why I told her. I said, "Well, like I told this woman that I showed you, I said, look, if you find a man." You know, good luck. You know, you that that you looking for someone to take care of you and whatever, and be meet to your certain financial quota status. Then go right ahead, sister. You know, but it's but that would even tell me a lot. Even if I was a man with hell of a great means, you just tell me what you really about. That's what some women don't understand. That some men. Some men who have have had means, they ain't gonna want to share they they, they hard earn their means and their heart, and they heart, and share their life and their resources with some women that don't give a shit. This is what these women doing in 2020 don't understand. Yeah, that you may look you can, you can dress yourself up and look good, but there's some men with money who are smart, they who have resources that are smart, and they've been burnt, they've been hurt. 
they've been a good guy, they did everything, and they got shitted on in, in its time in their face. And only that they when they, when it some push come to show, they 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 don't have the luxury of getting affection and attention and understanding from their woman. And so some men turn bitter because of that. And some men choose to stay single because of that. That's what some women don't understand that. These women of 2020 don't understand. And it's for some women who know how to hold a relationship, understand who are mature by a relationship, understand how to keep a man. You have to go for character. And some, some they, they, they sister girls don't understand that. That's why they're not happy. That's not why they're not happily married. That's why they're bouncing from relationship to relationship. Because they, they haven't got out of themselves. It would be the same way with some men that have a guy out there. So women are the same when it comes to their self. I'm so pretty. I'm so this. And girl, I, because I'm what the woman is with their face and their breasts and her butt. And, you know, and sometimes she get that kind of favor. And she gets spoiled to the point. That it's just about her. And you see how some women that always got to be taking selfies all the time. Because they got to validate they self. But a woman who's confident, who's attractive, she don't have to validate herself all the time. I mean, if she, she's single, and she has, has to choose, but a wise woman would choose a man based on his character. What would I look like without the makeup? What would I look like? If, 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 are you going to be with me if, through the storms? That's what it was. It would be the same way with the woman. She asked for a man. They said, this is the kind of man, I, 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 that's a soldier. That's a, that's a true soldier like, that you want. Like, man, you know, he, he's there for me. He cooking when I was down, you know. That's what kind of like, wow, you know, he's a good person. He's a good individual. He's a faithful. No, he, he ain't ever cheated on me. They are good men. That's what I would hope for. And it was, as a man, I could speak, you know, this what kind of woman. I want someone that, you know, hey, so if someone is taller and charming than me or more money than more money than me, hey sister, go right ahead. Go right ahead. I ain't out here trying to compete with nobody because I got seen this is what it is. There's too many women in the world be sweating over some one beautiful woman. And so I'm just gonna be honest with you. And some woman I can find some woman on the planet is faithful to me and me only. So this is what this is the truth and I just wanted to show that make this video on it probably won't be a, a popular video but it's just it that's how that's why some people ain't in relationships in 2020 that's why some men, women can't find no men because because they, they do stuff like that get to know a person first a man don't want to be questioned like question like that damn near IRS you know when, about if he just tell you he got a job leave it at that and leave it at that but you just now get to know a person at least he's working if he got a business well how much is like how much does your business make like what the like you don't need to know all that if, if, if there'll be a time and a season for that You know, sometimes some people open up their mouth and don't know that the simple thing can cost reason why that that cost them. Because that might be offensive to somebody. I wouldn't care about how much if I was talking to a woman how much money she make. I want to know more about her. And the fact that she got a job that that's good enough for me. We can work around that. <laughs> I mean, whether I don't care if she making seven dollars an hour, we can work around that. I mean, seriously, it's crazy. I mean, I want more about the, because there's more to the person. I mean, for one thing, like I said, this maybe times I can't cook, can she cook? That maybe that's one one of the things. I mean, maybe it could be something as simple as. What does she like to do? 
what would she give certain things a part of me as a, a significant other? I mean, it could be, I mean, every relationship is going to be centered around the bedroom, but that's one thing. But it, can she be there if, if I go through my down period? Is she going to be there? As well as my highs, as well as my lows. If I'm going through a, a rough patch. I, to me, I'm a man. That's why I said, when I look, I said, when I'm looking for a woman, that's the kind of characteristics I want. I don't want somebody with, with bad characteristics that they can't handle something. And just because I don't meet your certain height or quote, quote, tyranny, okay, you already then go good luck and find your prince your all perfect guy out there with the good looks and this, this seven eight figure income with the fancy car and the fancy house they're out there but let me tell you this just he, he has a good heart too just as well as the man who don't have those things he, he don't want to get burned. He don't want to get loose. How many men have probably been burnt and hurt? Some chick then dogged them out. And they, they, they made that say, that's it. I don't want to deal with And it's, in some cases, some men choose just to go to another country. That's the reason why. Because some, some women don't here don't have learned the basic uh, appreciation for their spouse. And you say, well, why do they go in, like some men go to places like the Philippines and Thailand and pick up a woman? Because they, because maybe the women in those places not appreciate. They come from a good family that whatever, if she's happy, you know, with a, a jean, pair of jeans from a thrift store, she's happy. You know, because maybe her closet wasn't like that. And whatever he's he's happy, but a woman with a champagne mentality. Say now this, you bought me this used, you bought me this car. How come I want an SUV? Really? You ungrateful, you ungrateful bitch. That's what you want, and that that's a turn off. I've seen cases like that happen online, where a, a, a guy you know gave his girlfriend a car. That she need to get back and forth to work. I don't like this car. In fact, look, you got it. He went out and purchased her car so she can drive back and forth to work. And it was a pretty decent car. And I don't know if you ever seen that video. And she, you know, she bitched and complained and said, Well, you take this car. I don't want this car. So a man, a good man who worked hard. And earning this income, why would he want a, an ungrateful bitch? But but just because, and this is what I talk about, just because she's good looking and maybe a few dudes would probably holler at her. But yeah, they they might want her for her her body and her appearance. But when it, when it comes to her personality, ain't too many dudes are gonna put up with that. And even the dudes with money wouldn't put up with that. They do with well means. This is what these women in, in 2020 don't know this. And that's why they're single. And they're miserable. And they, they hate on it. They try hate on it. And it doesn't matter what ethnic it is. A woman. It's like with, it's with some women with the Western mindset. They come up with that. that, that, that well, and I think it's just the Western mindset. I've heard it from all men from walks of life. That thing, it's like, you know, they don't appreciate a good man. I've heard this from white men. I've heard this from black men and other men as well. Like, they just don't feel appreciated. You know, I don't feel up to her standard because she's, she's put me through like an IRS tax, tax bracket. Like, what about the person? What about the individual? Maybe everybody has, not everybody going to start off rich. And right now, I know down the economy anyway. And like I said, unless you meet somebody that's already has some kind of strategy 
But even if even if the man who is single, who have everything, who making five six figures, if he's single, he don't want to lose what little that he got. He ain't gonna lose what he got to some some in, trifling entitlement moment that, that wants to think that acting like a bitch is gonna is gonna get it and gonna keep putting up with that. No, no. If, if any woman think like that, you're gonna find yourself being out faster than than I don't know what. You won't get the engagement ring that you have. You won't get the guy that you want because you, you, your approach was wrong to a man. Because that, because if I, you know, man with green men, you know, would you be more concerned about my finances and then anything? And naturally, any man, you know, if you win his heart. Not just what you'll lose, but when when his heart, he'll give you the best of the best of the world. You'll get the best. He might spend the best, but he's not just going to just spend the best and just go for someone ungrateful. They're going to put him kind of bitter, like damn, why not was he with this woman? And then that's that's the kind of woman that try to that to play. I have seen this with one, with one woman will play a dude like this and be attracted to this other dude that won't give her a damn thing. I've seen I've seen that play one guy like I said you you wrong for that you so wrong this, this guy going out his way and trying to take care of you and if you're sick and you're not even appreciative of this guy I know women out that did that stuff that's why you know it's like that's why she really have to see a woman for her character because some women don't have good character out here guys they don't. And they wonder why they don't because, it, you know, this society is just saying, ooh, you know, put your pretty face. And they might get some views, you know, they might get some views and stuff like that on social media or whatever. I mean, it, it might go into a porn site. And, and some guys, some guys are gullible enough to give them the money, but they have no heart. They're just a shell. Because when you got kind of on your looks... Your looks can change over time. You look, and I don't care what you do, what you eat. God, you you are slowly aging. We all aging in these bodies. Don't you can Botox and Botox yourself, but it, and plastic surgery like crazy, but it still don't replace the inner person that God designed that personality. He designed that soul, and that's what you have a lot of women doing, trying to. You see on TV practically putting themselves damn near to death trying to fuck vanity and fame. And then, I mean, it's one thing, you know, you know, if it's for a health reason, you know, if a woman get kind of got a lot of weight and it's for health reasons, she exercises for health. I totally understand that as a man out that I we I exercise for health. But if it's for just to get attention and vain, vanity, and get all these lip suctions and butt suctions and things like that and put all this stuff and going up under the knife being knocked out for two or three hours for what? It still haven't changed the person on the inside it's no different than the person trying to change their, their, sex, their, their sex organs it's, you're still that person, you're still that soul and spirit that God made you tend you to be that's not your original you you, you, you fix out your outside you still that that person designed on the inside, but I I didn't mean to make this this long, but I just wanted to show you a video. If you have, and and if there's a lady watching this, don't ask a man man about. Be happy that he got a job. Be happy that he's doing something. If if he if he get off his head behind, at least he got something. And if he got his, if he if he got if he live in a one shack apartment, it's his. If he driving an old jalopy, it's his. Because eventually he's gonna come up. He's gonna he's not gonna stay in that jalopy in that position for so long. Some women don't want to have the patience. That's why they don't, and that's another reason why. Because everybody has to be at a certain level in a certain season. Everybody has a season where they, everything is increased. You you. Where your housing may be increased, you might get blessed and get a, from apartment to a house. You ask any individual that's been through this, they they give a testimony. They they went from a jalopy car to a new car. 
and didn't have to pay and paid it off. There's people that have done that. There's people that that you know it took time. But if you're not there with the person from the beginning, then what makes you think I want when I'm at the end of the road? Why why I want you now? If you not, don't appreciate and come up together, because when when someone's standing and being faithful to you, that 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 and, it, and you stay loyal to them, that tells you at some point in life, them the kind of people you want to keep around you. And if I want to, I would rather have a woman that stand with me in the middle of a storm and at the beginning of a struggle. So when we come up out of together, I ain't gonna want. I don't care how many all together put together feel together women because I know that this woman was loyal this woman was faithful that this woman was there when I was broke this there when, when, when I was sick this woman was there when 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 I was going through depression oppression everything else and was able to able to to rise out of the occasion that's my that's my way of looking at life I'm one of the men that's what I would want I don't want no. I don't care if, you, if you're the most beautiful thing. Think that you have this pre-goddess. You can have the one with the pre-goddess attitude. Think that they just all about their, their 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 appearance, their vanity. Give me something from the inside out. That's what I want because the personality makes up for the beauty on the outside. When you rather have someone the beauty on the inside. That is be, that produces their beauty on the outside, or do you want something just artificial on the outside, but don't have no beauty on the inside? And there are women are like that. There are women that that they have no beauty on the inside. It's all about themselves, vanity. Don't don't feel like they embarrassed. I've been been around women. Well, you know, I don't know why I'm even in your. I mean, some women can get arrogant. And there are women that can get that arrogant, that they feel like they shouldn't even be in your presence. They can, they can get a good, better looking, or uh, get better looking man than you are. Okay, my mom was go go ahead, bye. You know, shoot. It's, and again, it's a lot of lot of women on the planet. I'll find somebody for me. Sometimes it, it may you have to go, may have to go to. I understand why some men have to. Go to another country and or go to another culture, another woman, just to get a woman who is for them that was ride and die with them. Ride and die with them. To thick and thin. I'd rather really deal with that type of woman. But you with your with your already your 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 Cinderella's and your queen so called trying to be queens. Some, some women need to earn that title to be a queen. And in so, today's some some women in in today's market they don't deserve it. They call queen. So when you look at their personality, you tell me, do they deserve to be called a queen? When you hear the stuff that come out of your mouth, you tell me, do they, they deserve to call call a queen? Look past the the body. Look past the pretty face. Hear what comes out their mouth, and it tells you a whole lot. And you're like, my goodness, I I didn't think they were. I was about to get get her, about to get her number, but damn, she she foul as on the way. Yeah, there's some women that are, foul. and just as foul, they could they have more foul than just as a man do. They just they just as foul, wicked, and anything. What? But they know how to they know how to put they they know how to put their makeup on in the mirror and prep themselves up. And you don't know they could be really have a spirit of a witch. <laughs> and you don't even know. You you that's what I've learned. See when you when you're a good hearted man and you've been through some trials and made some immature decisions, what these women don't realize, some of us are older men. We don't fall for everything just because we look a certain appearance. Like he, look, he's a really easy going, nice going guy. Yeah, I look easy going. Yeah, I, I, I imagine that's why some of them come. And yeah, maybe he like someone I can just kind of take, you know, take him to a ride. Yeah, you got me wrong, sister. Don't let this face fool you. 
Don't let this face fool you. I'm in, and I'm, I'm, I'm sharp. See, one good thing about a man that gets in his 40s and 50s and 60s, some of us who do, we get sharper. We get burnt in the fire too many times. Some of us know we get even sharper in what we want, what we want. And no matter, we the poor as a poor to the rich as a rich, to the ones who have it all together. We know what we what we want, what, we, what we're looking for. And if it, sometimes it would, some of us have to wake up five years, 10 years, 20 years to get the woman that we want, we will. And that's what I would say to the ladies in 2020. And there's enough women on this planet that there's some woman that will understand the, pro, the protocol and the program. It's not about control or manipulation. It's not about that. It's not about keeping you. It's just about appreciation. Appreciate the, the opposite of sex or who, what that person's role is as the opposite sex. Not trying to be the opposite sex. Not trying to outdo, not trying to insult the opposite sex. Not put down the opposite sex. And, and have a war, war of sexes. I ain't gonna solve anything. Not, you know, because I, I mean, I, you have to have have some common sense enough to know that not all women are the same and I, and that's why some women who be like why can't I get a man why can't I get because it's something that they, someone probably have told them maybe another woman have told them it's you it's your personality that's why you can't hold on no man and 9 chances out of 10 they you know one woman would, would, you know, want to cook and do things for her boyfriend. I wouldn't do all that for him. Yeah, that's why you, you, you're you not a giver. That's why. And I met plenty of women like that. They're not really givers. I mean, they just, I ain't going to do this. Yeah, that's, yeah, you ain't going to do it. You're right. You're not, and you're not going to be happy. I'm going to have them up under my foot. Yeah, you might, it might work for a certain amount of time, but he's going to get tired. When you figure, come to figure out what he want and what how a good woman would come along and treat him and respect him and honor him as the male figure, so that's what's happened, and that's why they run the social media and some of these women women land blasting men and they're on some of these talk shows whatever because they they can they don't that's why they can't hold it down that's why they can't keep a man. And sometimes their own mouth can be their own worst weapon. And that's why their husbands who, the ones who have the career, who make good money, don't want them and they, they don't want to be around because they can probably then do and be, submit their mouth. They got too much mouth. They got too much attitude. And they got too much their way. So you might as well just be by yourself and, and say that you don't need a man okay you don't need a man don't complain about it when other men go to other women it's, and there's some women that, that talk like that I don't need a man okay but don't get the, the, don't you say nothing when they when that when that woman get that that man that's the prize because it your, was your very words that open up some women in 2020 don't understand that. That's why there's. That's why most some of the women you see are single, guys. That's why you think, why man, she's beautiful. She. That's the reason why she turned herself into a goddess. She has a goddess complex. That's why. Think about it. What it, has she? What has she done? If she was a good-hearted, good-looking, good-hearted woman, you think that a man? I want sooner or later, maybe, okay, I can see the first man that made a doggy, maybe the second man, but the third man going to see what he got go. The third, maybe the third or fourth man going to say, yeah, I got some good, I'm going to hold on to it. Because why, a wise man know, whether young or the old, how, how, ain't too many people like that are out here. It's all about themselves. It may look good on the outside, but when you take it, bring it home on the inside, and sit down and get and stand, sit in front of somebody for 30 to minutes to an hour, their true nature come out. This is what this young lady didn't understand that her true nature was coming out, trying to test me. I already knew. Yeah. 
hey, I, again, I have a nice face, but I'm a person that been through, I've been through some storms. I've been through some, I've been over some mountains, some hills. <laughs> so you can't come up to me with some, some of that dumb stuff. And I mean, not kind of cuss you out and cut you up and cuss you out, but I know what to do. I just back up and just say, hey, if that's what you want, peace be with you. I'm not your type. I'm out of here. Ain't no, oh my goodness. Da, 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 da. I ain't gonna give you, I'm not gonna, I'm like, I'm at the age of 50 and fuck it. That's what I told my sister. Yes, I'm at an age, I'm like 50 and fuck it. I'm not trying to, maybe you should do this. Or maybe you should know I'm fuck, fuck it. I'm, I've, been, I've been over a decade to myself. And it, yet, I, have I had my trials? Have I had my points of being lonely? Yeah, but I rather, but I rather have a person I can contend with that I, we can get along with another another person of opposite sex, than not get get with someone with the opposite sex, that in which I would love, you know, give, I would love to have a girlfriend, love to have the have a relationship, but if it means going through all this bullshit, bull crap, no, I'm not gonna tolerate that, just because of beauty and the looks. I'm sorry. <laughs> you know, I'm, I graduated behind, behind that. Maybe you got to dress a certain you got, and Maybe you have to change your persona. You, you got to change this and do this and do that. No. I'm, it's about, I'm, I'm the, I learned this, is coming to the point like, it's time to do me. It's time to be about me. Stop the, try, trying to appease, appease the damn everybody. Because, this is face it at this part of life. This some good things. There's some things you don't want to really want to track out there. So I would I rather attract whatever God brings in my way than the things that the devil. Because I want not the devil track. And when I was out there in the dating scene, I was tracking everything from the devil. What the devil sent my way. And that's the truth. That's why I didn't was able to hold. A past relationship because I wasn't looking for what God was trying to present my way. I'm looking for something what the devil is trying to send my way, and and, and the devil knows that. Hey, he, he, oh, you, oh, you, oh, you bought the one with the. Yeah, don't she look good? She look at look at look at her breast, look at her butt, look at this. If you want her, James, I send her to you, and she'll do anything that you you want. Yeah, you get everything what you want, but you don't know what's behind, what behind the door. You don't know what the problems come with that woman you don't know what the issues come with that woman you don't know anything but when the devil sent it it's come with some issues if God sent it it may not be perfect but it's something that's manageable you can work with it but when you when the devil sends something it could be hell on wheels take my advice if you're a young man you, I, 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 and if you, I said I know you, you might desire it but it's rather be alone than wait to somebody that know how to Stand in with you and compromise with you. Then not a, you can deal with it. That's a su successful. That's why you see some couples that have been married for 20, 30, 40 years. Because trust me, it ain't probably been no rocky world. But they know how to stand in the storm. That's w what it comes down to. I want a woman that wants to stand in the storm. Don't you want a woman that stands in the storm, guys? That's what it comes down Even if she is attractive, but she has the more. It's, 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 looks is one thing. But you want the whole package. You don't want, you don't want the half of a package. You don't want a third of the package. You want the whole package. And sometimes, hey, and maybe the very woman you ignore might have the whole package, guys. She might have the whole package. She might have the potential to stand by you, be like a friend, get you through those little obstacles and in. And I would, and, and all you gotta do is stay faithful and give yourself to her. To give yourself to some woman that don't that don't give a damn about you, you know. And we'll probably after the boom boom sex is over, what you got? This is what I I had to learn from my personal experiences. But but I'm at, I'm seriously I'm at the point in my life 
chick start talking like that, like the way this chick was, okay, good luck, find you, hey, there's a website called uh, Women Looking for Millionaires and Billionaires, good luck, good, hey, go, hey, find your five, six figure man out there, good luck, good luck, hey, but I'm looking for a kingdom woman, I'm looking for a kingdom woman that can that know I stand in the trials. That's what it is. And it, it feels good to say that that woman didn't qualify because she wasn't kingdom. She didn't present herself as kingdom. Because of the way she questioned. Sometimes, and you know how women might, do, might not want to talk to a man again, don't kind of cut a man off because maybe he was doing good, and all of a sudden he opened up his mouth, and you know, and some women do that to men. If a man don't talk right, then she don't want to talk to him no more. Because one thing, it might turn her off. Like, I don't, but a wise woman, like, I don't want to deal with that. And, and guess what? As a man, learn to deal with when a woman say something stupid. I don't want to deal with that. You, you coming out being materialistic? I don't want to deal with that. It's time. That's what some men are saying, like myself today. I don't want to deal with that. I know where you're going with that direction. You're not, you're not for a relationship. It's about yourself. But you're trying to make it seem like you want to. But it's what, you, it's what, you, it's what your attention really is. It's, it's just the way you come off. Some people, like I said, just, it, that should be the same because women do... Do men the same way, but men come and say, hey, yo, you got a button, sexy button, and sexy, ooh. She, she like, you might, she like come at like, well, I know this dude didn't come, come at me that way, da 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 like, whatever, give me a wrong number or something. <laughs> they try to call yourself, and he might think, he, he's like, what, why, what, what happened with that dude, you know? Well, guess what? To the women, when you come out with that materialistic, oh, you know, how, what? Well, how, how much would that be a month? Okay, you that, that should be a man's slogan. Okay, you're not about me. You're about, oh, you're not about me. You're not trying to get to know me as a person. You're trying to, and it's a, obviously common sense would tell you that the man already got a job. He's going to do what he do. Why has it got to be to a certain degree? How much money does he make? Why does it have to be that way? If, I mean, there's some people, even if they do get an education, how many realistically, how many men, how many women and men are probably was in their field, but it was not enough people in their field, so they had to take a job in the meantime. You see cases like that every day on TV. Some people are not in their, who are college educated, business educated, not even in, in their proper field. See, some women don't even think about that. They're glad that he, if the man, if he's taking care of himself, he's holding it down, it will hold down the job, go get up and work hard every day. What difference does it make? And maybe at one point he might get promoted to make the, fit, the, 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 the two or three figure job, four to five, six figure job down the road. So why, why come at someone like that? I'm just saying. And you know, if you gotta be trying to think you like them being like an NBA baller star, wife or whatever, good luck because men that is in that category. And I'm pretty sure I don't care if they, if they are in that category making that kind of money. They want want to give their heart to some woman, some woman they dog them out. That's just common sense. And I wish the women in 2020 would understand that. You know, just like you know, you you know, they would say on a man. They talk, they talk about men. There's a man that you want the footy body, and men you know don't want to do this, don't want to do that. But what? Well, men don't want women to coming out like that that direction because like it it gives a signal that you're more about that the materialistic things in which I've seen this than than the man himself, his character. That should be the main thing is the character. But you don't have that these days. And that's why you see so many single people. Because they're not asking for the right things. 
They don't want the right things. They want the things that the world wants. Not to not to me people want the things the king that God wants for them. That's why they and when they meet somebody, they never can hold on to a relationship with them. Because it's about me, 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 me. That's the truth. You say, like, why why that woman that maybe and you know, that woman that's maybe that's probably one of the reasons why in that case. Man, she's so beautiful, she's so wow, she's so this. Man, she's good, she got a nice body, got got a pretty face. Trust me. Trust you me. It's probably that's one of the reasons why. And maybe because you know, and you know as a man, if you're a man listen to this, a woman can meet a man faster than, than a man can meet a woman. I mean, and trust me, she will get, you know, men are, are in her nature to be confident and approachable, approach a woman. And she should, she can know right there and there. So their, their chances are highly unlikely a woman meet a man faster than a man meet a woman. That's just a fact. And you mean at some point, I mean, an attractive woman, you know, guys get you and you have to go online. Guys will get you attention on, on the street. <laughs> Maybe the hey, how you doing, baby? You know, trust me, and you'll be able to know the guy just by the way he talk, way way his what he present. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I didn't mean to make this so long, but I'm going. To, but it, it's just I, I had to show you that. It's just to let you know, hey, if women think that they're going to get a man coming at it with that kind of questions, that could be a turnoff for some men. I'm just saying. And it may seem like you're testing the man, what she said in the later on in the text. Let me show you this. I just want to see how you're going to respond. Why would you even do something? Why would you even do something like that? I'm going to show you the text. They come up. Here's the text. And it's from Facebook. So as as a man, I'm already kind of, you know, contacting you. You know it's something. You don't know if it's legit or not. Because some people, some women look, they, 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 there's somebody that could be acting like a woman for one thing. There's there's people that do that or protect. They're trying to get men. They try to sign over their bank accounts. Could go to a porn site. That's what they're doing now. And they don't think think that. So you know, as a man, just like a woman, need to be careful too, because people play on people's feelings. They play on people's. They feel like they got good soft nature. Let me, and, if, and I guess they figure what they call a sucker person. And you got some people out there they want they they want to find somebody <laughs> they can sucker. But no, no, I'm not the one. I'm I'm I'm, I'm just I'm not the one because it's my choice. You no, know, not to get burnt, get hurt. So, so uh, who, who, I hope her, this woman, young woman, know good luck to find your prince. But it ain't, it ain't me. Plus, she's she's younger, so I already know what the game is about. And she's from the United States. I definitely know what the game is about. Not saying that a woman overseas won't do that, but it depends on what part. It, it depends on her attentions. And then when you call them out, they get really, oh, well, you thinking about that? No, you just expose yourself. Men are not dumb, ladies. We're not dumb. And I don't know that these men are, these men are, they, 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 you keep thinking men are dumb. <laughs> we, we wise up. God gave us the provision, the vision. When we wake up and see the whole picture, that's why he gave us a provision. So I hope you, if you'll find interest. Until next time, you guys take care out there.
And be, men, be careful. Anybody to contact you, be careful. Put them through the ringer. If you're single, ask questions. Don't be afraid, don't be shy to ask. Till next time, take care.